Hey everyone, I wanted to make this quick video uh, to show you how to get Paramount Plus working on your Apple TV if you have an Eero Wi-Fi network. Uh, I went to Twitter with this question. I, I did a search. I've been trying to fix it for, a few, I don't know, two or three weeks now. And a user by the name of Newton Domini on uh, Twitter had the same question. And he went to Eero's help section on their website and they said something about ad blocking. And he didn't know how to fix it, so I went about trying to find a way to fix it, and I think I fixed it. So let's just get into it. Uh, what you want to do is you want to make a separate profile in the Eero app. So if you have uh, Eero Secure, if you hit the Discovery tab on the bottom. Uh, this is what you'll see when you hit the Discovery tab, Eero Secure, Amazon Connected Home, blah, blah, blah. And again, this is the most up-to-date software from Eero for both the iPhone or iOS app and the, uh, the network. So you want to tap on Eero Secure. And if you scroll down to network, you'll see where it says network, advanced security, and ad blocking, which is turned on. Now, underneath ad blocking, you'll see block four, and mine says profile that right there. Here's my say something else. If you go in there, this is what it'll look like by default. Network will be checked on, and everything in your network will be going through this uh, ad filter. Uh, and that's what's stopping the video from streaming on Paramount Plus. So what you want to do is make a separate profile. We'll come back to this. I'm going to turn this off for now. And you want to make a separate profile in the Eero app. So if you go to the upper right-hand corner, you'll see this blue plus sign. You want to tap that and go add profile. When you do that, you want to enter a profile name here. This one we'll call test. And normally on the right side of everything on your network, you'll see these little circles that you can add check marks to. And what you want to do is select everything in your network that is not an Apple TV or an iPad or anything that you want to stream Paramount Plus on. Uh, I've already done this. I made two profiles. I made one that's called uh, non-Apple TV and one that's called Apple TVs and iPad Pro. So you can see from these, you know, these top ones that I don't have blurred out that they're all in their own separate profiles. So once you make a profile, you're going to save that just like it is, and it'll make these two, you know, it'll section off your network basically. So we're gonna cancel this because I've already done this. So if you go back to the Discover tab, like I said, go to block four. Again, this is what it's gonna look like when you go in the Discover tab, hit Euro Secure, go to block four. This is gonna be checked on by default. You wanna turn that off. And then the one that you put all of your devices, the, the profile that's all of your non-Apple TV devices or whatever, um, you're going to check that on. That way you still have ad blocking for everything in your network for those devices and not your Apple TV and iPad Pro. Um, when you're done with that, you're going to click the Done button, which is grayed out for me. But uh, click the Done button, and with that, you should be good to go. Um, my Paramount Plus started working immediately after doing this. I think it's shady that they're, whatever tech they're using to allow you to stream off of their network um, is being detected as some kind of an ad tracking thing. Uh, I think Paramount CBS needs to fix that, but that's for a different video. So hope this helps you out, and we'll see you later.